the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Breaking the law. Man, random encounter. Anyway, welcome to part 26 of Final Fantasy VIII. Zell will be the one to have to get the weapons for Selfie and for Quistus. Not to mention Squall and everybody else's weapons who happens to be in the possession of these guards. Speaking of which, that's what we're mainly going to be fighting. Guards, some mech units that shall be appearing randomly, and by the way, make sure you use uh, Katsukado for all of them. Because, in, well most if not all of them, because just about everybody in this jail cell should be weak to Katsukado's thunder. If, if you have been focusing on upping the uh, AP points on Katsukado. So yeah. Just wreck those guards shit. That's what's up. There is however a safe point downstairs. It'll be in your best interest to go there. If you've, like, went through the entirety of this without saving, it would be in your best interest to go down there. I didn't. I fell asleep. Oh, by the way, I spent up all of my money that I happen to have for uh, Laguna. It does not affect here. As a matter of fact, what I can say is, uh, whatever money you get from Laguna will not carry over to Zell and the others. You could have just spent all that money on items. You are going to need them. Now then, these are the jackasses that has our weapons. Particularly Zell's gloves, Squall's gunblade, Selfie's nunchucks, Clistus's whip. I do believe they also have uh, Irvin's gun and Renoa's uh, discus blade. But since I've escaped, it's time for Zell to finally act cool. It's up to the chicken wuss now. Time to bust some heads, and these guys are just like normal guards. And they're only say, who's there? I found the escapees! And things of that nature. You know, any uh, GF could actually do. Any GF at all that you have. These guys will be nothing. And for the record, it is in your best interest to equip Zell with all of the GFs until Selfie and Quistus get their weapons back. And for good reason. Because we only have like maybe two... Uh, GFs. That's not enough vitality for the uh, beast. Well, not the beast, but rather the mechs that are the random encounters. But it matters not. I've got everybody's weapons. Finally, the chicken wuss has done something right. And he's went up to level 17 because of it. God, everybody's going to be so unevenly leveled, and that pissed me off so much. I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. As I've stated in the co-commentary that ended up turning into a solo commentary of Final Fantasy X-2, I am really OCD about levels, because there are certain enemies that will kick your behind if your party member is not at the right level, and more than, and more than often than not, it's the healer. I, I'm sorry about that stuttering anyway. I, I can't. I gotta stop saying that. So, right now, these Moomba here are recognizing Squall as Laguna. So, yeah. They just snapped them out of being unconscious and freed them from the torture chamber. That is why you free the Moomba. I mean, that's why you save the Moomba, I guess. At least that's what I think, or that scene happens. You can tell me in the comments section below. But either way, everybody's got their weapons back now. So we should be doing more damage to the enemies. And on that day, Zell's dick grew three sizes that day, along with the rest of his body. That was a joke. He... He's still a chicken wuss. 
Yes. So, with one last action battle scene, we're going to go and rescue Squall. Or at least we would, except after they pose, we got a boss battle. So, yeah. We're going to have to set up their GFs. Because immediately after we leave this screen, we got our... Again, like I said, we have a boss battle to deal with. So, the GFs are going to be as follows. I'm going to give Shiva and Siren to Quistus. And for the love of God, stop that! Stop, no, 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 stop that! Stop that! Thank you! No, no, stop that! And what am I saying stop that for? I'm talking about the controller. Because during the recording, the controller was acting all ridiculous. Don't worry, I got it fixed by that time. Alright, now we're going to Junction Quistus with Shiva and Siren. And I'm going to give Selfie Ifrit. Why? Because I can. Oh, high, vi high Vitality, that works. That absolutely works. So, let's set up everybody. Oh, yeah, 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 let's put it like this. So we'll be quick to draw stuff. Because, trust me, the boss battle coming up has some really good stuff to draw. Now, let's set up magic. And, well, not just set up magic, but also... Well, wait, wait, yeah, we might as well set up magic. And also set up uh, draw and GFN magic. And put strength plus 20. There we go. Now that we're all set, let's give Selfie some... I should use a tent. I really should use a tent here. Oh, I forgot to add some stuff to her, too. I'm gonna put Vitality. And, uh... I should put Vitality and Magic on there, but I'm gonna put Vitality and, and Move Finder. I'm gonna switch that to Vitality and Spirit by the time we leave this place. Anyway! Now we got to Mean Guy. Who brought in Man A? Who pretty much got pumped out by Cell. I mean, yeah, Zell pumped out Mean Guy in the last part. So now, Lieutenant Biggs and Private Wedge is coming to deal with us. Yeah, you remember those guys way back in part five? They're back! And Biggs and Wedge recently got demoted because of their ass-kicking they received in, uh, Dolette. <clears throat> yeah. And Wedge pretty much reminded Biggs that, uh, Quistus and Selfie and, and Zell are armed. But nonetheless, this is Biggs and Wedge, well, Biggs and Wedge Part 2. With Biggs and Wedge, we're going to have to siphon magic from them first before we beat them up. Of course, we're going to get them from other monsters, but from what we can get from them, I do believe we get from Wedge is Reflect, and we get Haste and Regen from Wedge. I mean, Big, sorry. So, basically, we're going to be drawing, because these guys really aren't going to do too much damage to us. And if they do, there is always Selfie Slot. I mean, it's really not that reliable, but at the same time, it would actually uh, help out at this point. However, when Wedge is KO'd, Biggs will literally pull out the big guns. This time, you actually have to drop both men to zero. That is something I forgot to mention in that part. 
like the last time we fought these guys we only had to like drop wedge to it the wheel had to drop bigs to a certain point now <clears throat> since bigs and wedge are both here we can just take out wedge since he's the lesser of the two evils and by the way wedge heals bigs just thought i'd let you know that is a funny picture by the way Uh, I just want to try to tell you to get rid of Wedge first because Wedge will heal Biggs. And if you don't, it's going to be a pretty easy battle out of the way. But again, as I stated, once Biggs is at a low HP, he will uh, start pulling off some devious tactics like slowing your party members. I think he'll also cast Thunder, I mean Thundera, also. As, so keep that in mind. That's probably as difficult as he's going to get because Biggs and Wedge is not that much of a problem. I am practically prolonging this fight because I'm stocking up on Regen in haste. I could stock up on Reflect, but again, there are other enemies that actually pass Reflect here in this jail cell. And we just got hit. Oh, and Zell just got hit by Thundera. Don't worry, folks. This battle is almost over. All Selfie has to do is hit herself with Regen. And we pretty much won this battle. Regen doesn't carry over, by the way. Oh, and for the record, same rules apply as Final Fantasy's 10 and 12. You can cure haste with, uh, <clears throat> same, you know, what, what was I saying? Oh yeah, you can cure slow with haste. And you can reverse haste on enemies with slow. And with region, however, you can cure, uh, region with, no, actually, that's not really a, uh, oh yeah, that's right, you can cure poison with region, I guess. Since region will only happen every turn and so will poison so you're just basically not losing much health anyway Biggs is dead we didn't receive experience we almost got an achievement unlocked because we defeated 300 enemies and at the same time we've got eight remedies three elixirs and we've got 10 AP points siren has learned treatment now which means we can now use treatment whenever we want and that will end this part. In the next episode, we're going to have to deal with the fact that Biggs, once again, is a sore loser. And we're going to be going to the bottom floors instead of the top floors in part 27. Right now, the Mubis uh, being contacted by the other Mubis to let everybody know that Laguna is upstairs, even though Laguna is basically referring to Squall at this point. So now we've got more random encounters. Not just guards, but also random mechs, a Wendigo, and I do believe in uh, 